So me and Cade scratch out on our first trip of the season. Got a long 13 hour ride out to the Midwest, which is some of the, our favorite places to hunt is, is across the Midwest. And we, we vary from state to state. But um, man, we get out there and it's just like, man, all of our little places and our holes we've got marked on Onyx, just there's nothing. We're just not holding any birds. And we're like, oh my gosh, it's, you know, here we go. Of course, you never know what, to, what you're gonna get or what to expect any time you're on the road. But um, these places we go, we've hunted them a lot in the past. We're pretty familiar with them. We know where the ducks like to frequent, where they roost, where they tend to travel and feed through, where the flight routes typically are in um, these certain areas because we hunt them pretty regular each season, just different areas, different states. But man, we get out there and we can't find nothing. We ride and we ride and we ride for hours scouting, can't find nothing. And then finally, this one place that we really, really don't care too much for out of out of all the rest it's kind of like our least favorite place it was like the last place on the list i was like well let's ride over here and just see if we see some ducks well lo and behold we get over there green heads all on the water everywhere and i was like all right finally all right we're on them now you know and it, it had rained recently and there's a gravel road gravel parking lot nobody had been there there was no fresh tracks at least that day anyway so I was like, well, man, maybe nobody else has found these birds, at least since the rain anyway. So maybe nobody knows they're here. Maybe we got them all to ourselves. So we get out there the next morning. We go set up and try to get on them and hope for a good hunt because it was holding good numbers and we were hoping they were going to return the next morning. We're on our first official hunt of our trip. Me and Cade, we're dealing with some skim ice. Um, we got here pretty early. Got a hole busted and opened up. We got a dozen mallard decoys and a jerk rig which my motion duck sprayer's got four so we've got like 16 decoys out and we've got our mojo out with no wings but we have the bluebird waterfowl animator on it so we're going to try it out see how that little splash and ripple effect kind of helps out with working the birds if they start flaring off of it we may have to make some adjustments but um maybe it might help keep some of this water open too we got about, I don't know, 15, 16 minutes or so for shooting lights. Hopefully, we can uh, get some birds in this hole. We scouted this place yesterday. It was holding a few mallards, a um, few gab wall, and some teal. So, we don't know what we might get. Hopefully, the green heads. That's what we want. I'm sitting here doing the intro. Cade said we got teal just lit in the decoys. Could be on, boys. a boy doubled triples oh you tripled yeah i shot one in the water i got one and i got up in one way out there dang son that's what i'm talking about oh man this might get rude boys man we were covered up in ducks we're so close to the hole we had found this little mound of dirt back here in the grass to set these layup lines on we're literally like seven yards from the decoys so you saw in the footage, man, they're dumping in right here. We had green wing teal, mallards, and they're all over us. So, cage shot tripled. So, that's awesome. So, gonna try to let Cade get his limit, and then I'm gonna give him the camera, and I'm gonna pick up the gun. So, man, what a way to start the morning. Boom, son. Give me some of that. Got a limit of Mallard's green heads too, son. That's what I'm talking about. Well, 
What a way to start the trip. What do you think about it, Caden? That's a, what do you think about a seven minute limit? <laughs> Boom, just like that, Cade got a full limit of mallards. Five green seven heads, minutes. huh? Seven minutes. In seven minutes, he just looked at the clock. Seven minute limit for Cade. So he's gonna go pick up his last two birds and uh, come back real quick. And uh, he's gonna take over the camera and I'm gonna see if I can get something done. Oh man, what a way to start the trip. Man, I did not expect that. It was just bam, 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 Cade was done. He raised up three shots, boom, 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 got three, tripled on some mallards right off the bat. I mean, not even two minutes later, he goes and he gets the birds picked up. He's back in the layout blind and he gets his last two. He's got his five, five green heads. And man, it's just been killing me. I'm sitting here chomping at the bit, waiting on my turn to give him the camera and pick up my shotgun because the action is just incredible. We got birds all over us. They're dumping in from every which way. We had, had a little bit of skim ice that morning. We had green wing teal literally probably three yards away from the end of our layout blind. I mean, they were lighting almost on top of us. It was just absolutely insane. I had no idea that was gonna happen. I didn't expect that amount of ducks that fast all at one time. It was just, it was absolutely insane. I give Kate the camera, pick up my gun. Now it's old dad's turn. A few moments later. Ooh, that was good. I was trying to pass it on the green wing, even though I said I wanted to kill some. I'd rather have them green heads instead though. Freaking stud right there. Mm -hmm. All right, three more. Man, this is pretty good. I'm liking this. Mm -hmm. that hand but I couldn't stand it. <laughs> they didn't want you to shoot hens, they wouldn't put them on the bag list. I like to miss that drake on the water. I was trying not to destroy a decoy. <laughs> oh well you ruined the picture last year with the hen. I figured I'd get it this time. I can feel the, the grain in these ducks' crawls. They are slammed full of grain. Let's see what she's been eating. Look at that. Look at her mouth. See that? Slammed full of corn. Slam full. He is too. Right off the bat, I start killing birds, man. It's awesome. You know, I go out there, I pick up the mallard drake and the mallard hen, and they've just they're slammed full of corn. They're coming off the fields, the rest in the marshes loaf around, get a little water, you know, during the uh, late part of the morning. So things are picking up. I'm killing birds, they're slam full of corn, they're fat. Big fat northern mallards, man, it's just, it's absolutely awesome. I mean, it's, I can't even describe how, how exciting and how much fun this hunt was. It just happened so fast. I mean, Cade had his, his limit in seven minutes. Seven minutes after shooting time, he's got his limit. We swap up, he's got the camera, I've got my gun out, and we're going to work on them. So we pass on the next morning's hunt, do some more scouting, try to find some more birds. Lo and behold, we find some in a marsh that we've hunted a few times in the past. Never really had a whole lot of luck to it, um, mainly because it's extremely hard to hunt. It's just not a very good hide. And we, all we had with us on this particular trip was layout blinds. And we found a little small 
high point little knoll out in the center of this island or the center of this marsh and uh, it was like a little island out there where the water was like just skim water it's like not even a half inch deep so I told Kate I said the best thing for us to do is just take these layout blinds and we'll just lay right here in the skim water the decoys would I mean they would they were the water was just deep enough that the keels was hitting the bottom of the of the grass bottom on the ground and they, they couldn't get any motion from the wind but at least they would sit upright. I mean, that, that's how thin this water was. But it was right dead center of this marsh. There's a lot of pressure around the edges of it because it's just a terrible hide. So most people, they have trouble hunting it just like we have in the past. They always sit up on the banks and on the levees of this marsh so they, the ducks tend to shy away from the edges and try to work the center of the marsh. Well, we were able to get out there in those layout blinds and man, did it work out for us, I'm telling you. Me and Kate are gonna do a little midday slash afternoon hunt but it's a pretty bluebird day it's about 55 57 degrees somewhere in there it's a little warm but uh we found a bunch of mallard ducks out here feeding in this um little moist soil marsh out here so we got the layout lines out here got set up and a uh, cage over there brushed in best we can and uh hopefully we can uh get us some more mallards here in a little while. They ain't mallards, but we'll take them. Kill them. Right. Tried to dive on me. She had one broke wing. She got completely underwater, but couldn't hide them tail feathers. Things in there twitching. I got her though. Man, still early. It's like almost three o'clock. I got three teal. I can knock out a few more real quick. It'll all be up to cave then. Well, it hasn't exactly been a terrible evening. Started off pretty slow. We were here, I don't know, probably what? 30 minutes or so, we saw a bunch of birds flying, Kay, but they, nothing wanted to work. It was aggravating, but it seemed to have picked up a little bit here in the last 20 minutes or so. so it's almost 3 o'clock now, so it should only get better from here, hopefully. Hopefully I can finish up my limit and Kay can start working on his. We'll see. Layout blinds seem to be working so far. You know... I was kind of a little bit uh, unsure about it because we just we out here in the middle of this marsh pretty much, but the marsh is not full because you know the whole entire Midwest is experiencing a drought. But the water out here with the decoys are at is like ankle deep, like they'll barely float. So, and we're set up out here on the ground in the layout blinds, grass thin, so. Seems to be working. I'd like to get some mallards working and maybe kill some of them so we can really kind of seal the deal on whether or not our, our hide is sufficient enough. So but we'll see. We got a couple more hours before shooting time's over, so hopefully we can get some get some mallard ducks in here. How about you take first shot? Alright, get up, you shoot first. Just get them both in one shot, my man. <laughs> Scotch double. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Well, we just had two green wing teal come in. And I already got three. Cade doesn't have anything. So I told him, I said, we'll raise up. You get the first shot. Well, 
he shot and scotch doubled so boom that's all right that's all right always nice to scotch double Got double, huh, Cade? Yep. <laughs> Well, things have picked up a little bit. Some birds starting to fly around. We had three mallards come in here. Okay, got one. I didn't really want to shoot the other two. They were kind of on his side. But still got almost an hour. So, we still got plenty of time to get a few more birds. Shoot them. Well, me and Kay was working a pair of mallards, a drake and a hen. And we had two ducks just fall in real quick on us. We decided to go ahead and shoot them because the mallards we'd been working in for a while, they were just being a pain in the butt. But turned out they were pintails. They both hens? Yeah. Dang, we killed two pintail hens, so can't kill but one pintail and we got the hens, but hey. We'll take them. A couple of pintails. Oh yeah. I've been telling Kate all off season, you know, man, I love shooting mallard ducks. There's just nothing like, you know, a strap full of greenheads. But for whatever reason this year, like I just had this strong will to just kill some green wing teal. I wanted to kill some green wing teal just because on all the trips we've been on, we've been in mallards. Nothing but mallards, which, hey, I'm not complaining. I love shooting greenheads, but it's something about teal. I love shooting teal, and I really, really wanted to get a full limit of green wing teal. I didn't get my limit of green wing teal, but I got my fair share. They were working that marsh that day. It was perfect skim water. They were coming out there, and man, me and Kay was putting it on the teal. And that is a wrap. I did not get my last duck. Kay got his limit. He's got, what do you got? Some four green wings a green head and a pintail hen i got four green wings and a pintail hen so i needed one more for my limit didn't get it but hey it bees that way it was still a good hunt good mixed bag limit we'll take it can't wait to see what happens in the morning man this layout hunting is rough on me i tell you what my lower back is killing me i gotta get me a cushion or something this stuff's about to kill me me and Kate are back out on the scout we're out riding around looking trying to find some more birds and uh there's this one particular marsh that we've never hardly fooled with much and uh we've hunted before didn't really have any much luck there it's just really really small and it's, it's just really hard to hide so we we, we kind of tend to shy away from it but um I told Kate I said let's go over here and check this marsh out and see if we can see if it's holding any birds well we get over there and we're looking and we're scouting the marsh with our binoculars we're not seeing any ducks and i'm like man you know i kind of expected this you know it's just been it just hasn't really been good this year and then uh i kind of look off kind of to the west and I, I see this huge group of mallards working i'm like oh my gosh kate look we turn and look and there's a dry field behind us like right behind this marsh and it's a cut cornfield been recently been cut and uh, I said, oh man, I said, look, those ducks are working that field. I said, they're, they're feeding out there. I said, well, you know, worst case scenario, I said, we might can set up out here somewhere and try to run traffic on them. Maybe when they start coming off the field, we might can draw them in here and uh, into some water. Well, we got to looking and uh, while I got the binoculars out, actually, Cade gets on his phone. He's on Onyx. He's looking. He said, daddy, he said, that field's public. I said, what? He said, yeah. He said, we can hunt it. It's public. But now we were not prepared whatsoever for a, a dry field hunt. I did happen to have 
a dozen full body mallards with me and that was it and like three dozen three or three and a half dozen floaters so i told him i said well only thing we can do is get out the invisible mans which they can't be hunted you know with the legs up or legs down on the layout style type with blind i said all we can do is just take those invisible mans set them up on the ground use them like a layout and uh we'll have to try to cut some corn stubble cover our legs and feet up and um set those full bodies out and we'll just take those floaters and just set them on the ground and hope for the best you know a couple mojos and we'll see what happens and uh you know it, it, it worked we killed we killed a few ducks but not not what we could have had we been prepared for a, a field hunt man we really really could have put it on we were out doing a little scouting yesterday and we found a mondo wad of mallards dry feeding in a cut cornfield and lo and behold to our luck it was public so we are set up out here and we are not prepared for a field hunt um, we got our Mo Marsh and Visimans out here uh, we just got them laying down we got the legs folded up we're gonna use them like a layout blind because we didn't bring them didn't think we was gonna need them so we got the Mo Marsh and Visimans set up we got them brushed in corn stubble all over them uh, we got a dozen full bodies out and I don't know, Kate, about what, three, three and a half floaters? Yeah. We just got the floaters kind of mashed down, laying on the corn. But they're sitting pretty level. They're not like, you know, fall, falling over on their side on the keel. So they look pretty good. Um, and we only have one spinner, so we got the spinner out. But hopefully we can get them. It was a huge, huge amount of ducks in this field and working this field. We don't need... We don't. We ain't got to fool all of them. We just need to fool ten. That's all we need. So, hopefully, the odds are in our favor today. But we'll see. He's set up in his little little marsh. Set up in there. We got the hardest part. We got is we got to figure out how we're gonna hide our legs, because the invisible man doesn't have a place for you to put your legs. So, let's we'll just see what we can do. I know, be still. No. Let him come back. <laughs> here they come, here they come. Shoot him! I got one. I thought I got that one. Oh, you might have got it. Okay. Dang, we got one freaking bird out of all that. Kill him. I shot the hen, I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, this morning we were getting set up. I said, we ain't shooting no hens. Look what I did. Oh well, we ain't had very many opportunities, so we're gonna take advantage of what we got. But we got a mallard drake and a hen. Kay got a drake on the group earlier this morning. Hopefully, we can uh, get a few more. We got birds in the air right now. They He's going down. Well, that's a wrap, folks. We ended up with 
three mallard hens and two mallard drakes. The amount of ducks we saw in here yesterday when we were scouting did not return today. Um, they all kind of seem to be wanting to go to a field on back behind us. It's just the luck of the draw, I guess. But um, that field is public too as well. So it is an option. But uh, things are starting to thaw out a little bit. So we're starting to gain a little water. So um, we may, may do a little water hunt tomorrow, come back to the field for the evening or vice versa, do a field hunt in the morning, go back to, you know, go hunt some water in the evening. We're not real sure yet. But um, either way, it's been a good day. Long day, we rode the hole from daylight till shooting time was over, and we got five. We didn't get skunked, so we had a good day. It was our first time ever hunting a dry field. We were not prepared for it. So having three and a half, four dozen decoys, only a dozen full bodies, all the rest floaters just sitting out in the cornfield, and only one spinner, I think we did pretty good. But anyway, I'll give you a shot of the birds here. So we're gonna get this stuff packed up, head on back out of here, go back and get some rest, get us a plan together for in the morning. But it, it was a cool experience for us, me and Kate have always talked about, you know, that's something we've always wanted to do is do a dry field mallard hunt. And it was just, it was a lot of fun. It was a, it was extre extremely challenging because we, we, we had a dozen full bodies and the rest were floaters. It, it would have been a lot better if we'd have had our, our layout blinds with us instead of the Invisimans. But we made it work out. It was a lot of fun, great experience. Um, I hope we get to do it again someday. It don't always work out where you find uh, a big group of mallard ducks working a, a public field. You know, it just don't always work that way. Typically, when you find them in a field, it's typically going to be private. It's just hard to gain access for a non-resident like we are. But it worked out for us. They were working out on public, and uh, man, it was a, it was an awesome experience. And I hope to get to do it again sometime. So Wild Cave and I are set up in the dry field, doing the best we can with what little bit we got to work with. Um, I keep noticing a bunch of birds working, working off off to our right. And I'm like, well, you know, I know there's a marsh over there. I knew where it was and which marsh it was. We've hunted it before, killed a lot of birds there in the past. And uh, I told Kate, I said, man, I think them birds are working that marsh. But we had just looked at it the day before and it was frozen, solid. Like it was like an inch of ice out there, maybe even a little more. I mean, it was thick. And uh, he was like, that, that, that marsh is frozen. I, there, there's no way they're working that marsh. And I was like, well, man, unless, there's a, unless they're working that field over there, you know, right beside it, I don't know what else they'd be doing over there, you know. So anyway, lo and behold, we keep watching, keep watching. They're just swirling, dive bombing, just dropping, you know, group after group after group. And I, I, I've been convinced of myself at this point that they're they're in the field, you know. And uh, so anyway, about an hour later, we start hearing gunshots, just boom, 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 boom. They're just shooting, just letting them have it. And I'm like, man, those guys are putting it on them over there because it was just thousands of birds over there and we just knew they were putting it on but lo and behold they were actually going down and working that marsh it had thawed out in one little corner of it and man they were piling in there so we get up there the next morning we pull in the parking lot and lo and behold there's somebody there and i told kate i said oh my gosh i said man all these ducks dumping in i we had to know somebody else was going to see them not to mention somebody else was here the evening before shooting right you know so that's public land, that's how it goes. So as me and Kate are walking out there, lo and behold, there's only this one person. He's set up in the only spot that's got open water. So I told Kate, I said, you know, I said, look, we gotta practice what we preach. I've always taught Kate, I teach both of my boys, you know, public land is public land. Everybody else has just as much right to be there as we do. It's always good to invite someone else to hunt with you, especially if they're by themselves, or walk up there. If they're set up where you wanna be, walk up to them and, and and see if maybe they'll invite you. If not, you know, I got no shame in it. I'll pack my stuff up and I'll go somewhere else. I'll go to plan B, C, D, or E, or F if I need to. But, um, so lo and behold, we walked out there, walked up on the guy. Guy's name was Brandon, super nice guy. And he was like, man, I'm here by myself. No one's coming. Uh, Y'all are welcome to set up and hunt with me. You know, we had about three dozen decoys with us. He only had a few out there. So we just had a lot bigger spread. You know, three collars, three blinds, perfect. So he was like, man, heck yeah, man, that's awesome. We appreciate it. And man, 
he was telling us that he, that was actually him we heard shooting the day before. It was him and two of his buddies, and they had pulled a three-man limit out of there that evening before. And I was like, man, I knew I saw those birds coming in here, and I heard y'all shooting. I was like, I knew, I knew it, it was it was a good good day for y'all. So so we got high hopes for the morning's hunt. Man, we cannot wait for shooting time. We uh, we got a guy with us we met here. He was here ahead of us, named Brandon. Show y'all him over here. That's and uh, he hunted here yesterday, him and his friends. And y'all got a three man? Yes, sir. Got a three man limit of mallards. And we had hunted close to here. And uh, we heard them doing all the shooting and saw the birds dumping in yesterday morning and yesterday evening. So we kind of told ourselves, hey, we might need to try to go over there because we've been on the struggle bus for the last few days. But we got here and he was already here. He was kind enough to let us set up with him. We're, we're stronger together than we are apart. So. Wasn't no point in us trying to set up in one place and trying to call birds off each other. That ain't no way to be. So down on public land, we all friends. We all out here to do the same thing. So he was kind enough to let us hunt. We got about 30 minutes or more or so till shooting light gets here. So hopefully next time you see us, we'll be smashing some mallards. Shoot them. Nice. Well, that was awesome. We had a huge group group come in right at first light and having some te technical gift difficulties with the GoPro. And this cold air, it didn't want to work, so we did not get that on film. But we got three out of that group. We just had a group come in, got three out of that group. So we're we're up to six. We're doing pretty good so far. What y'all get out of that group? You got a drink? I think they're all drinks. They're all drinks. Brandon's coming in, he's got two. Perfect. So things are going pretty well. If this continues, we'll be done here pretty quick. Oh man, they're far. Shoot them, Cade. That's a, it's a Susie, isn't it? I think it's a Gabwall. That's a Gabwall. We don't want that. Yeah, we can take an extra. Yeah, that's true. That's the Juvie Gabwall. I think little. You got that finisher. That's the baby. That thing. That is a little bitty gab wall. Look at his breast. His breast still brown. Her breast. Mm-hmm. Shoot him. Yeah. Widgeon. Man, I've been wanting that for so long. Me too. That's the next one on the hit list. I've been wanting one of them for so That's freaking so long. He That's ain't man. <laughs> man, I've been wanting that for so long. I've been wanting to kill one of them for a long time. Man, that's a pretty bird. Man, I was so pumped. Finally got my widgeon drake. I've been trying to kill one who was fully plumed out for years. I killed one the season before, but he didn't have the white crest on top of his head. So when this drake and hen come in, man, I was just Johnny on the spot. Boom, boom, I shot two times, got both of them. Man, I was pumped. There he is right there. Man, I had to put him on the wall. I've been wanting to kill one for years. It's just, they're like my number one pursued duck i just i don't know what it is about a widgeon i just i think they're gorgeous they're beautiful and man i was so so excited to have finally got my widgeon shoot him Hey, 
coming back out of the fields. He's slammed full of corn. You done, ain't you? You done now, ain't you? Thought so. Oh, shoot How many me. More you need? Huh? How many more you need? I need one more. Then, then we gotta get yours. Huh? They're in that field, yeah. That's what I was telling you. They get in that That's where they're coming from. That Drake is full of corn. Yours is too? They're coming out of the field. Oh yeah, they're all over the top of us. Yeah. Kill him, Brandon. I wasn't gonna let him get out of there. <laughs> Man, this has been good. Man, Kay's got his limit. He's got five green heads. I got just a smorgasbord. I got, <laughs> I got a gab wall, two widgeon, a mallard hen, and a mallard drake. I need one more to finish up my limit. Brandon's got three mallard drakes, so he needs two more. I need one more. We need three more birds, and we'll be done. The birds are starting to come in off the fields. So hopefully uh, we can uh, get a few more in here. They're being really, really skittish. We got no wind. They're really not wanting to decoy into bigger groups, ain't But we pecking away at them. Three more. No jewelry, huh? <laughs> this may sound completely nuts, but you're the jerk rig man now that you got your limit. I'll count on the GoPro. There you go. I'll just we'll just, just leave it in there with you. Don't do it the whole time, but when they got their backs to you and they turn and they they not looking at us. Give it a good, give it, a, give it a good, twist it hard a couple of times like that. That may be all it takes. It's a little bit of ripple. So as the morning progresses, the birds are getting more and more weary. And uh, man, we didn't have a jerk rig with us, which was stupid. You never go hunting without a jerk rig. Cade had his limit. Brandon needed to kill a couple more birds to finish up his limit. And we knew we could do it. The birds were there. It, was, it started off really good and it kind of got slower the birds were going in the field but we knew it was going to pick up when they started coming off the field so I, being a South Alabama redneck, I'm like okay what can I do to get some motion on the water so I go in the woods behind us and I find the, the longest and lightest limb slash log I could find and I drug it over there and I handed it to Kay because I was running the camera I told Kay, I said here and I stuck one end down in the water and handed the other end to him in his layout blind and I said, man, look, we get some birds working, whenever they got their backs or butts to us, shake this thing, put some ripples on the water, we've got to have some motion because it was just deathly calm that day. And hey, call me crazy, but it worked. Little redneck ingenuity. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> no. We ain't got to fool all of them, we just need three. <laughs> three dumb ones. Here comes our first contestants. <laughs> well, <they are> <laughs> too. Shake it, Cade.
gonna shoot something. Man, how did I hit that thing? I don't know. But you got one. <laughs> Is that all that fell? Yeah. What about it, Cade? It's slow. Huh? It's been slow. Been slow. But it started off great. Yeah. And then it got slow. Yep. Man, it started off super good this morning. We had a huge group come in, which we didn't get on camera, having some problems with GoPro batteries in the cold air. But man, it, it was wham bam pretty quick there for a while, and now it's just been slow. It's like what 10:30. Yeah. It's like 10:30. Birds are really not moving around a whole lot anymore. Uh, Cade's got his limit. Uh, Brandon's got. He's got four, so he needs one and I need one. We need two more birds and we'll have our have all of our limits. So we're going to ride it out and hopefully we can get them. That's all we need. He tried to get away from you, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Give the jog. Yeah. Big old Drake. Right, that's good. Shoot him? Yeah. No moss. That's it for me. I got my limit. Kay's got his. Brandon needs one more. We'll be done. I think we can make it happen, don't you, Brandon? Yes, sir. Right. Time to go home. That's the limit. Yes, sir. <laughs> so all we needed was one dumb one. He was a leaver. <laughs> and just like that, boys, we rode it out and we got a three man limit. Kay's got five mallards, Brandon's got five mallards, and <laughs> old dad's got the smorgasbord. I got <laughs> two widgeons, three mallards, and a gadwall. So, man, this has been awesome. It pays off to just make friends in the marsh. If you got a guy hunting by himself, or if you're by yourself, ask to hunt with somebody, or invite them to hunt with you. A lot better than trying to work the same birds and shoot and call birds off of each other. It's just not a good way to, to be. But man, this has been awesome. It's been a it's been a pretty rough trip, but hey look, we finished strong. Three man limit. Got no complaints now. Well that's a wrap for today folks. We got a three man limit. Brandon or well, Brandon and Cade got a two I got got their limits in green heads, ten green heads. I got what Two green heads, a mallard hen, the two widgeons, and a gap wall. I got the little smorgasbord here. But uh, we had a good time hunting with, with Brandon and meeting Brandon. Man, I really appreciate you sure. letting us hunt with you. And I know I, I tell, I teach my son and people who watch the channel on public land, it's so much better if everybody can just get along, hunt together. I mean, because if, if, if we, we, if we would have walked around the marsh and set up over there and you'd have been here, we probably both would have killed some birds. But it would, we wouldn't have done this. Yes, sir. You know, so we'd, yeah. I'd have been calling birds off of you or vice versa. So, y'all, when you're on public land, when you meet somebody, be nice to them, be kind, invite them to hunt with you, or invite somebody else to hunt, or maybe they'll invite you. So everybody just get along on public land and have a good time, and this is what you can do if you do that. So me and O'Case and my, little, my youngest nine-year-old, we head out on the last trip, the last hoorah, this is going to be the coup de gras of the season. The last shebang, if you, for the lack of better words. But man, we head back up there to the Midwest, and it's, man, it's going to be cold. It's going to be some snow, a lot of ice, and I'm like, man, it's going to be good if we can get on the birds, if everything's not frozen and locked up. So the first day we get up there, we meet up with Brandon, who we had hunted with previously before, Kate and I, where we got a three-man limit. And, uh... Man, he's got permission on this farm pond. He's holding quite a few ducks and some Canada geese. So we are pumped to set up with him and some of his friends on this farm pond hunt. And we are back out again for another one. We got Brandon with us again. Shine a light on Brandon. How you guys doing? 
Y'all remember Brandon, he was with me and Cade on the last hunt we were on when we got a three man limit. We back up here with him, he got permission on this farm pond, so hopefully we're going to smash him today. He's been watching it for the last few days, few weeks actually, been holding a lot of birds. So hopefully we're going to pull a six man out of here today. We got me and him, we got Kaysen with us, and we got some of Brandon's friends. They're down there in the blinds, it's still a little dark, so can't really see them down there. But uh, hopefully it's going to be a heck of a hunt. Dude, that was like five foot away. Well, I wasn't gonna let him leave. Nice. Right here, you ready? My shot. I thought it was my shot. I gotta get that one. Yeah, hurry. Shoot. Nah, I didn't hear it. I was like, run, Casey, run. Uh, you shot, didn't you? No, it was one of them. It was Just bring it down. Take, take it down there. Hey, son. You gotta watch the dirt string, son. Man, this farm pond hunt is going really good. We're killing a few ducks right off the bat, but man, it's not long and we see we hear some honkers in the distance. Let them have it. I got that bottom one. I shot that bottom one. Can I go kill one? I'm Mine now. One. I shot the one on the top. Can I finish him? Well, it's been a little slow. Started off pretty good. We had to make some adjustments. The birds were kind of flaring off of us. We had these panel blinds set up down a little bit closer to the water. So we decided to move them back on the pond dam. Seems to be helping. But we need to get some a couple more groups of ducks in here to really see if it made that big a difference. But we had some honkers fly right over the top of us. Shot and got both of them, Brandon and O'Case, and they headed out there to pick them up now. I didn't either. Be still. I got one. Good kill. Uh, you want me to finish him? I got it. There you go. You want me to take him? Yeah. There he is. Go get him. Hurry. Run. Yeah. I got him. I was about to say, you gotta be on point. Better get that. Better Hurry, get him, Casey. Go get him. Hurry, run. There's my green head. Right here. Be ready. I'll kill him. Yeah. We'll get four. Oh, yeah, there, well, that one's going down. Y'all got him. I didn't. I didn't even shoot. Did you hit one, Chris? I don't. I don't. Uh, no. I wasn't expecting them to actually come over here. <laughs> but my expert Colin brought him in. That's what it was. Was it? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Were they Another real interested call in that calling? Cause I don't know. I, I couldn't even see them until they come over the hillside right Chris there. Chris is like, where they're at? They're right in front of us. Well, I'm <laughs> over here focusing on calling. Oh no. Yeah. Making sure y'all kill birds. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's fucking stone dead. <laughs> that thing didn't even have a chance. Dalton just go get him. Dalton, you kill him over there on the I bank, laying in the Dalton. mud. He's like when he, was, when he was here, he yeah. pulled his trigger and it was dead. Kill him. I got two of them. Yeah. I got one. I straight got two. I got one that was over the wall. Hey. So. 
If Chris shot two, I, I know for sure. Go pick him up. Yeah, I died for sure. The two I, I aimed at dropped immediately. Now I'm I know one at anybody. Mine. Is. As soon as <laughs> I shot one drop. I don't know about you, but I thought that was some stellar call in there. <laughs> Brent, that was good. As soon as I shot one drop. So. I, when I merged that cluck yeah, and that. Yeah, that one you have is yours. Together, and I was just trying to merge it in. I know I got two, and then Brandon got one. one. Broken wing is Unless, mine. did you shoot sure. one? Uh, man, it, I was shooting. <laughs> I should. I would shoot one, and I'd pull the trigger, yeah, it would fall, and then I'd get on another one, it would fall before I'd shoot, and then, I don't know. Brent, might so just what happened? Split these it does, it, it <clears throat> came right in front of it, the first one came through, the rest came through, I hit the back one, and it dropped in the water. It didn't cycle, but I think it's cycling now. I don't know. But I might d use the other I'm not going to lie, guys, that's some good shoot. Wipe there. your, uh... Look Might be hand off, dude. Wad just chilling in the water right yeah. there. <laughs> hey, hand me the other gun. I'm gonna use. Well, it. I'm not gonna lie. Whoever shot first, I pulled up and lined up and mm -hmm. it dropped, and the next one dropped, and I'm like, that's what I, I think. Oh, I stopped doing that. I think I, I, think like, I got the first. That's shot the same off. problem I had. I shot. It went him, <laughs> hit me. Or it no, went I him, shot first. It went him, me, you, and then Brandon. This was my first time shooting honkers. I've never shot them. I've killed some here on the the lake river where I live but it's just been really kind of hit and miss, you know, so I've never really had any work and come in like that, you know, work like those did. Man, it was, it was, it was incredible. We had, we had this one group fly over so you could hear them moaning and mumbling under their breath as they were flying over. I've never heard that before. I'm not a goose man, but man, that was an experience of a lifetime. I've, I've never, even though it wasn't a whole lot of geese and we didn't kill a lot of big numbers, it was just, it, it was awesome. I, I kind of, I understand now how guys get into Canada goose hunting because I've always kind of wondered like man those calls are just obnoxious sounding to me <laughs> you know but being a southern boy we don't get a lot of geese if any hardly other than a few locals that stay at the pond at the at the river and lake over here and just you know they're resident geese they don't ever leave but uh man that was an experience of a lifetime I really really enjoyed shooting those honkers gonna have to get into that some more as we travel I, I want to do some more of that that was a lot of fun Daddy took me on a hunting trip and my number one goal was to get a pinto, but I didn't get that, but I got my first mountain. Me and old wild man, way out after some ducks. We got a little makeshift blind put together here. Got a few decoys out and uh, hopefully we'll have a pretty good little afternoon shoot. 20 gauge hunt today, he's shooting a 20. 20 gauge Franke youth model. I'm rocking my 20 gauge Stoger. So uh, hopefully uh, me and this old man can Scratch out some ducks today and he can smash his first mallard ducks. What do you say, wild man? But now we gotta get that mallard drake, don't we? Pintail drake. Oh, pintail drake, my bad. Y'all stay with us, let's see what happens. Well, he was coming so fast. Shoot him! Shoot! 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 I got one! You got one! I got the back one! Good job, Kason! Want your duck? Dude, you shot him flying. You shot him flying, dude, that's awesome. Give me some skin. Come on, let's go get some more. Heck yeah, your first mallard. It's all right if it's a hen. It's still a mallard. Yeah, it's still a mallard. Shoot him.
Get up and shoot. Get up and shoot. Get up in time. Get him, get him, get him. Hey, son, you got him. Walk, out, walk over there to the edge of that tree. And hurry, hurry, he's swimming. Shoot him, Kason. Shoot him. Got him. Dude. Dude. There you are. Your first green head, dude. Go get him. Go pick that sucker up, man. How about that? My man, my youngest child, my nine-year-old case, and he is, I call him Wild Man. That's been his nickname since he was a little baby. I've always called him Wild Man. Man, he raises up, shoots his first mallard flying. As a daddy, man, I was pumped. It was, it was awesome to watch him do that. I got to watch Kay kill his first mallards when he was a little boy. And now I got my youngest son, my last child, Got him in the blind with me, and man, he's putting down some hours. Man, it was just, it was awesome. Oh man, I know I got some water on the lens, I think. It's been spitting rain all day. Kaysen shot his first mallard a couple volleys ago. Got it on the GoPro. He shot a hen. I told him we didn't want to try to shoot hens today, but hey, it's his first mallard duck. Who cares? And he shot, him, shot her flying. Then, had some more come in. I shot my last bird. I got my limit. I'm done. I got five green heads. Single green head comes in, comes around, lights on the water. I told Casey, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. He shoots and misses the first two. The third shot in the air. He cripples him, knocks him down, and then walks out here to the edge of the marsh, puts a cleanup shot in him, kills him. Freaking awesome. I am pumped as a daddy. This is awesome. I'm going to watch, watch my youngest son who's coming up kill his first two mallards today. Freaking awesome. Yes! Dude, dude, what you got? My first greenhead. Your first greenhead? And you shot him flying too? Dude, give me some skin, man. All right. That first shot, I thought I almost missed him. Like, nope. <laughs> I need two more. Two more? No, you need three more. You got, you got a drake and a hen. You got two. You need three more. That'd be five. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, that's a wrap, folks. We run out of time. I got my limit. I got five green heads. Oh, wild man's got his first mallard drake and his first mallard hen, and he shot them both flying. Missed them on the water, but he hit them in the air. <laughs> I shot my first duck on the water and my two and my two second ducks on the water on in the air. Yep. And uh, so I got five green heads, and uh, Kason's got two mallards. Seven mallards. We're doing pretty good, and we got ducks wanting to get in the hole right now. Look at them flying all over us. Good. Hey, Good gracious. Man. So we're going to get the decoys picked up. Look at this one. He's falling in the hole. Look. No. <laughs> we're going to get the decoys picked up and head on back to the camp, to the Greenhead Tavern. Head. And, uh, There's two out there. Yep. Three. And uh, we, got, we got about, what, four more days of hunting. So we're going to, we planning on piling them up right here at the, at the end of the stretch. How many more mallards are you going to kill? Six. Six more, he says. Well, I hope you kill more than six. So we had some snow come in. I mean, we're talking about, you know, about an inch and a half of snow. It's cold. We got a strong northwest wind, like 10 to 15 miles an hour, gusting up to 20 and 25. I mean, it is cold to us, so southern folks, because we ain't used to weather like that. So I got my little nine-year-old out. It's the last hunt, the coup de gras of the season, the last one. Me and him get out there about midday, and uh, hoping the ducks are coming off the fields or wherever they've been, coming to water. We get us a hole opened up and man, it's gonna be on. And me and old wild man are back after them again. This is our last hunt, the last hoorah, last hunt of the season. Uh, had a little snow last night. I don't know if you can see behind me or not. Had a little snow move in last night. We got a really good stiff northwest wind at like 10 to 15, gusting up to 25 periodically. So if there's any wind noise, I really apologize. I got the little windscreen on the camera, but sometimes it helps, sometimes it don't. So um, it's almost like one o'clock. We got out here a little late on purpose. 
Um, everything was froze this morning, um, so we tried to wait till the warmest part of the day to get out. Hopefully the bird activity will start picking up as the day warms up. And uh, hopefully we'll be smashing some ducks here on our last day. What do you think, man? You ready to try to kill some? Hopefully we can get some. We're set up like five minutes and here comes the first group already. Man, like 30. You got, you got your gun up, don't you? Yep. And they come, and they come. There's one right here in the front. Where's the rest of them? Just don't move. See them? There they are right there. See them? Be still. Don't look up. Just look at your gun. If they see your face, they won't come. There they come. They're coming down. When I say we're going to shoot them, okay? Shoot him, Casey. Shoot one. Oh, my I got one. If my girl wasn't there, I would have got one. I know. I think it's because of them no kick bullets. Because they don't kick as hard to make the shield come out. What? Well, we had a big group of mallards come in. They acted crazy. They, they flew over the decoys and lit on the other side of the decoys. Really strange. They come into the wind like they're supposed to. So I made a little adjustment when I picked that bird up. So they kind of messed us up. The way we were shooting, had to kind of shoot through a tree they didn't really land where i wanted them so oh well didn't really expect that so i made some adjustments when i picked that bird up casey only got one shot off his gun jammed so had a little issue there but oh well we got one maybe we can get some more in here they're coming back around Well, hey, you know what? It's all right. There'll be more coming. Come on, let's just get ready. I think it's gonna be a good day. Well, out of breath. Well, we had, how many was in that group? Three or four? We had three or four come in, made the little decoy change, and that was perfect. They come right in front of us. I got one Mallard Drake. My man missed. You're going to get you one. You just keep shooting at them. Hey, look. If you don't shoot at them, you can't hit them. Just keep shooting. You'll get them. So, Haynes is looking up. I hope we can um, maybe kill a few more birds. We'll see. gets on the water you shoot him on the water okay pick you out one with a green head you ready shoot him hey, case and you doubled shoot him again I got a hand in there. I think I, doubled. I you doubled how about that, dude? My first time. So, it was the last day still. I was cold, super cold, and a big group came in. There's two in on the water, and I landed with them. I stood up and went, bow! And got two in one shot. 
Kaysen's having a little bit of trouble trying to shoot. He's, he's not really quick on the draw, you know. But uh, we got this group coming around. I told him, I said, man, pick you out a greenhead. You know, I said, if you got to, look, let them light on the water. I try not to do a lot of water swatting, although I got no shame in it. I water swat one in a heartbeat. But he's a child. I'm like, man, look, if they get on the water, you shoot them. Well, sure enough, a drake and a hen come down, get on the water. He stands up, boom, two in one shot. My man doubled on some mallards, a drake and a hen, two in one shot. Man, it was awesome. To hear the excitement in his voice and to see his little face, man, it is, it's, a, it's a memory just stuck in my mind that I'll never forget as long as I live. I think I killed a hen too. <laughs> Dude, you got a drake and a hen. You, you freaking doubled, man. <laughs> See, I told you, just gotta shoot. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Dude, he freaking doubled. I can't believe that. Man, that's awesome. My man doubled on some mallards. Freaking awesome. I shot a hen. Oh well, I we had a green head and a hen right in front of us on the water. And that's what Kaysen got, he doubled on. But hey, I'd rather him get a green head than me. I've killed my share. I want him to kill his. Do I need to get that hen for you? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you freaking doubled, man. Dude, that is so awesome. So freaking awesome. We want to get your picture when we get back up there for mom. I want to. I, I shot this one and he was. Well, he, I shot this one. He died and it went through. You shot two in one shot. Dude. That's freaking awesome. Dude. Oh. I t didn't I tell you we was going to kill him today? Yeah. Didn't I tell you? Come on, let's get back up here and see if we can get some more. Dude, tell mom what you just did. I doubled in one shot. Got two in one shot. Dude, <laughs> Drake and a hen. That is so freaking awesome. Yes. All right. This is even here you funner. Go. See, my first duck. We got to get set up. Gotta get ready. All right, here. We're gonna have a pile of ducks. I hope so. We working on a pile, ain't we? I need two, I need two more. Dude, more mud. Duck, ducks coming, ducks coming. I need two more shots. Hold on, I'm, I'm already loaded. Dad, he just, he just shoot it. I'll shoot my last bullet. Like Maverick, <laughs> Dude, that was so fast. Here, give me your gun so I can get you loaded back up. You want me to go get your gun? No, no, I'll get it. You just give me some bullets so I can get you loaded back up. He did a back look. Here. How many times did you shoot? Two. Two times? So I, had a, I finished her, I, then you finished. See, I told you the new bullets I bought you were better. All right, let me go get him real quick. Dang, they flying good. We gotta hurry. I'm one away from my limit. Heck yeah, it picked up. Man, when they started flying, they started. Good gracious. So I got three drakes and a hen. Heck yeah. 20 gauge. I freaking love my 20 gauge. Man, that thing's so much fun to shoot. How many do you need? I need one more. I'm gonna get me a little. I hope you do too, buddy. Oh my goodness, I'm almost out of breath. Whew, that was so fast. We had that group come in. He did a backflip. My dude 
my main man over here shot and doubled on a mallard drake and a hen i got a hen and then we get back up here get the ducks put on the strap and before i could even tell you all about it we had like four or five more come in one drake got low over the decoys i got him casing didn't get a shot because he has a hard time loading his shells into the magazine and uh springs a little stiff for his little thumb but he wasn't loaded back up so i just shot and got that i'm one away from my limit i got four mallards i got three green heads and a hen casein has got a drake and a hen he needs three more i need one more so dude they're coming in the hole right now get your gun well a little update we had a, a single mallard drake come in try to let my man over here get him he shot three times and i think he he barely hit him just a little bit maybe around his butt area on the third shot because he kind of fluttered a little bit so i raised on up and uh shot and killed the duck bad thing is we didn't get that on camera as soon as we started coming around i turned the camera on and it said beep 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 and cut off which means it's better it's dead this cold air is rough on this camera but uh so here he is right here my last duck i got five i got four green heads and a hen casein has got two so hopefully we can get him some more birds so, but i'm done so i'm just gonna be filming wild man shoot from here on out well that's a wrap for today's hunt folks i got my limit casein oh he got two two in one shot he doubled and uh we still got about i don't know about an hour and a half or so before shooting lights over but he uh cold huh cold he's cold he said he said he's ready to go that he's had enough this uh this 15 this 10 to 15 and gusting up 25 now mile an hour northwest wind is is about to freeze him out said his feet was cold hands is cold face is cold face is cold everything's cold Except so, legs. everything but his legs he said he said he was ready to go so we're gonna pack it up ain't no sense in sitting out here freezing to death he's just a little fella he had a good time kill some ducks and uh first ever double first ever double and we got it on camera so it's pretty cool so it's gonna be on public yeah got it on got it got it on got your first mallards and your first double on public land pretty awesome huh this walking's pretty rough though isn't it there's duck man i appreciate y'all watching this year's video man you know it's just kind of a montage of all the past hunts from this past season we had a great season this past year looking forward to the next can't wait we're getting everything ready right now and uh getting all our ducks in a row getting our gear together getting geared up for the next season count the days literally to the first day of opening day of teal season and then be looking forward to our first trip